It's time now for the morning rush. The Spring River Zoo in Roswell is evaluating its new fencing this morning after three loose dogs were able to get into the zoo and kill four animals. The city of Roswell says the dogs killed three Barbary sheep and a wallaby. Now the zoo recently put up the new fencing to keep their animals safe, but it didn't work. State police have recently found multiple people illegally making their homes in the horse barns at the Downs racetrack. Lapel video from October shows police going from stall to stall looking for a man reported to be living on the grounds. In one stall, they found two people, Raul Leon Ramirez and Alexandra Chavez. They were both arrested. New this morning, one person is dead following a late night crash in Albuquerque. Police say it happened on Indian School and Mercado Lane. A vehicle hit a pedestrian and killed them. We'll bring you updates as we learn more. Erica. And here's a look at our hourly forecast. We are starting right around freezing this morning and we'll climb into the mid 40s this afternoon with showers ending this morning and then partly cloudy skies through later today. An Albuquerque father is facing up to 19 years in prison this morning after burying his baby in his backyard when she drowned in a bathtub. David Zuber pled guilty at his court at court saying bad parenting led to the death of his one year old daughter in eight in 2018. Zuber is already in federal prison for dealing meth. Santa Fe police are asking the public for help this morning tracking down a missing person. 47 year old Aaron Wagnon has not spoken to his family in three or four years. He was officially reported missing this past October. He is six feet tall and has a large scar on his arms. Erica and here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate today. We have some wet and snowy roads across the state that use caution this morning. Border towns are seeing extra layers of security being put up between the U.S. and Mexico border. As federal and state law enforcement prepare for an influx of migrants, countless people who cross the border are still sleeping on the street, including children and babies. Southwest Airlines says it expects minimal disruptions as well as we head into New Year's holiday weekend. So far, the company has slashed just under 40 flights today after scrapping more than 13,000 flights since last Thursday. Southwest said it will refund all canceled flights and urged customers to submit refund and reimbursement requests. Erica. And here's a look at traffic. Maps are looking clear this morning. No accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's a look over the big eye. Looking a little bit foggy this morning. Doesn't look like there are any slowdowns there at the big eye. Hershey, a four month old Australian cattle dog mix at the Arizona Humane Society with a heart condition, is looking for a new home. While vets say some pups with this condition live normal, healthy lives, others can develop congestive heart failure. Interested adopters should be prepared to spend time and money on Hershey's potential medical care. Time for the five facts. At number five, the next time you pick up a case of Pabst Blue Ribbon, take a look at the can. You might be holding a design from New Mexico native and Seattle resident Andrew Martinez. His design has shown up on 140 million cans of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer across the country. Martinez, who now lives in Seattle, was one of 10 people who won a national competition. Of the seven designs that he submitted into PBR, this one floated to the top. At number four, the man in the bear suit is back in New Mexico this time, hoping to make it to Arizona by New Year. Bear son, a.k.a. Jesse Larios from California, earned a following while making his first trek across the U.S. in 2021, raising money for a number of charitable causes. New Mexico last welcomed him in August of last year on his way from L.A. to New York. This year, Larios decided to ramp it up by running all the way back to L.A. And at number three, we are waking up to rain showers in southern New Mexico and some snow around the Sacramento Mountains. Roads are going to be a bit wet and even slick in the high terrain, so use caution as you're heading out. This should come to an end by the early afternoon. At number two, the Spring River Zoo in Roswell is evaluating its new fencing this morning after three loose dogs were able to get into the zoo and kill four zoo animals. The city of Roswell says the dogs killed three Barbary sheep and a wallaby. Now the zoo recently put up new fencing to keep the animals safe, but that didn't work. The three dogs dug under the fence to get into the enclosures. The zoo was forced to close on Thursday while a veterinarian checked on the other animals. The city says they have been working to reinforce the fencing for a while. And at number one, state police have recently found multiple people illegally making their homes in the horse barns at the Downs racetrack. Lapel video from October shows police going from stall to stall looking for a man reported to be living on the grounds. In one stall, they found two people, Raul Leon Ramirez and Alexandra Chavez, with a pretty cozy setup complete with a TV, mini fridge and wall decorations. 
The two were arrested. Now officers found another man in one of the other stalls. He was given a warning that he would be arrested if he trespassed again.